Do you know what today is? 
Now what? Today is tomorrow. It happened. You're here.
Okay. Hey guys, um, I saw that you, we had some problems with the sound, but now I'm back and this is um, Alpha Engine against um, Long Dao. Long has a pretty weak start, uh, start with just a set monster Alpha. On the other side, he started off with uh, Valkyras and um, a draw play with Unicorn. Now he, the Valkyrie sits the field again and the uh, Princess as well. He attacks into Headshot. So here is the one to search for um, uh, fusion. Yep, he's going for El Shadow fusion. Um, as we know, Long Dal has a pretty strong deck with uh, focusing on Shekinaga, and he's pretty confident with Shekinaga. So um, we'll see what happens now because Long Dal's turn they they weren't that like that long. <laughs> um, we'll see what, what what's going on then. Alpha, Alpha has strong openings and we'll see his full up play. Back to the body language, um, Alpha seems to be confident but on the other side he has a lot of options. That's when you look in his eyes, he has so many cards in hand. He's thinking. Yep, Alpa uses Valkyrie's effect. There's no <laughs> response. Yep, Dance Princess and Trishula. Two fresh cards for Alpa, as well as a removed unicorn. So things went off really really good for Alpa, his first turn was amazing, his second turn was good as well and um, Long Dao is still sitting at his 5 cards from the opening hand plus uh, another uh, El Shadow Fusion. He will draw onto his 7th card um, if it's his turn but oh, I see only monsters except the uh, El Shadow Fusion in Long Dao's hand. So this can get complicated for him if um, Alpa is going on with the pressure. Mathematician, one of uh, <laughs> Long Dao's six monsters in hand. There is. Yep, a Pero Pero. So that's if you're looking at the um, match. This is some kind of um, option. That you see there is not much that Long Dao can do. So if you know he just hits uh, like the Pero Pero goes to graveyard, um, you see that there's not much he can do. Because Alpine knows the El Shadow Fusion and that will be the only card um, Long will set or activate in this turn. He should probably activate it because he's no other choices in his hand, only monsters. Yep, he attacks into Valkyrius to get another card, hoping for something that is not a monster. This is not a white card, this is indeed a Pero Pero.
Yep. Peppers, Trice Valkyrs. There's El Shadow Fusion. He has a lot of monsters. And there's a Falco and Kupiesco Squamata, but we'll see that soon. Winda hits the table. No, it's a beast. It's a beast and Falco. He draws a card, attacks Winda. Falco indeed is um, a very good card against the uh, Necros. It's very hard to get over uh, Falco if uh, you don't have the Trishula. We'll see in a second if um, Long had the chance to draw into some kind of trap card. <laughs> mm, Lancea is not too bad. Prevents um, removing any cycles in Burris. I think we have to change the mats after this round because it's very hard to see the cards. But uh, thanks to Dennis, we see it's a Necros of Clausulus. And it's 10 minutes remaining in the round. So if um, one player manages to win the game in these 10 minutes, um, we will start probably another game and then it could probably be a draw. So. They both players really, really need to uh, hurry. Yeah, there's the Collider Mirror because we already know that he had a Necros Mirror. There is Kaleido, <laughs> there is no response. This is his special song for the Hearn, Unicore. Yep. Ark hits the graveyard, you would get a search. If uh, anybody doesn't know Ark of the Herald Light, um, he can search for a ritual monster or ritual spell. He gets another unicorn. Long on the other side, he's checking the graveyard because he knows that he will use the unicorn to get something back out of his graveyard. Attack over Winner, he gets back the Al Shadow Fusion, there's still the Falco set. And he sets two cards in the first <coughs> in the first game. I don't have his deck list here, but I don't think he's playing anything like shared right, so this is gonna be interesting. Could be um, Book of Eclipse. Flip effect of uh, El uh, El <laughs> effect of uh, shuttle Falco I have a quick look at a long stand I see at least one trap next to the El shuttle fusion but mathematician first probably a dragon to pop one of the yep, popping one back row there is one of the book of eclipses that's fine. There is Ashadol Fusion for Valor and um, probably some um, Shadol Monster for Ashadol Construct. It is a beast, so. So Lucky uh, Fabian and Lucky Robin, by the way, they had no opponents in their uh, round today. So they still keep their chances for top 16 after the next round. The last round for today, this will be round 8 then. But first we continue with uh, round 7. 
El Shadal Falco was flipped. It's not El Shadal Falco, but it is Shadal Falco. Um, he will get the chance to get one of his Shadal Monsters back in a face down uh, position. It's gonna be so hard to see. Uh, Shadal Constantly attacks Unicorn. You work up right. Nice. You go to sleep? Really? Me now. I come back at 8 o'clock. Cheers. So, Wang Dao has a pretty strong field. And he has at least one um, trap to back up his field. And it's back to Alpai. And I think what what about the time in the round? It should be like five minutes, six minutes. We just played sixty minutes, so we have also oh, we've uh, twenty four minutes left. Okay, <laughs> twenty four minutes left. Then okay, there's an MST by Alpai on the Crush Car wires. Flip, Beast, this should be a Valor, yep, Squamada, lots of damage on the field, we'll have a look if uh, Alpay has the Valkyrus to stop all the damage, otherwise it's something like There is Necros Mirror for Valkyrus, okay. Removing Shurit. Long as one card in his hand left. If you look at both players, they're both joking. They're both uh, in some kind of, I would say, confident position. There's, uh, it's, it's hard to say who will win the game. Valkyrie's attacks over uh, Shadow Beast. Shadow Beast hits the graveyard. Some more damage for Long, and he's on 2,900 left. I need to say, if it's true that Alpa has just one card left in his hand, it's not that much with the Valkyrias on the field and uh, one back row, he's really limited in his options. And that's a plus for Long, Long draws for his turn. Yep, there's the Soma. Yep, Synchros into Leo. And if there's no Valkyrias, Yep, there's the bulk of Eclipse. It was a bulk of Eclipse. So, <laughs> a lot of cards for long. Yep, Squamana's effect. Plus, four cards. And um, Alpa is scooping for game one. Grand Relations long again. You're leading 1 0. And we're going to the side decks. With uh, about 20 minutes left in the round, it's gonna be tough.
Um, I spoke to Alpa Anton right now, and he said he needed to st uh, to draw into some uh, something like Manjuro Senju, but he hasn't found any one of these. Uh, he was pretty sad on the other side. Long was also pretty sad because he said, like I told you, there was just m there were just monsters in a sense, and Hatchot gave him the Elshadow Fusion to get into the game. And he had to attack into Valkyrias with his Metal Magician to get another draw. Both duelists are shuffling for a round two. I don't have the decklist right here, so it's hard to say what they can side. But I already told you before about the deck of uh, Long Dao, and uh, there should be nothing really special in Alpha Engine's list. So we will be interested in game two. This is gonna be interesting, and um, we definitely have to change maps because it's really, really hard to see the pictures or to see the cards on the table. Okay, this is not a T-set, this is like some kind of double T-set. Activates anti-spell fragrance in Alpha Engine's draw phase. There's a uh, no response. Yep, breakthrough skill on Manju. Paired with an anti-spell fragrance. Manju attacks into headshot and there she is, the El Shadow Fusion. Pretty good opening for Long Tao. Wow, three set cards uh, by Alpha Engen. Yep. This is gonna be a Squamata or a Dragon. Probably a dragon, and so we have a dragon, a sh a sh dragon plus anti spell fragrance plus two sets against three sets of Alpha Engine. There is a preparation of right. and for all players. Just to let you know about anti spell fragrance, it's n not that uh, Long Dao can activate his uh, El Shadow Fusion right now because it's as anti spell fragrance that you have to set the spell cards before and you can just activate it in your turn after you set it. So there's no response for Long Dao in this tool because he can't set, uh, he can't activate the spell cards, he set it in his turn. Yep, there is a unicorn. So one yep, there is a dance princess. There is the Kaleido mirror and thanks to Dance Princess there can be no response to the Kaleido mirror. Herald of Arc like will hit the graveyard, he will get us another search. Well played by Alpai. A Trishula, and if this is a Necros mirror or another mirror, uh, we will see a Trishula this turn. Yep, there is cycle with Shurich with Trishula. Trishula activates its effect and it resolves, so they he would probably get rid of. Um, oh, that's a good question. Hatchard, I think. Then the last card in Long Dao's hand. And probably one of his back rows. Mm. 
for the new players, this is a necklace of uh, Trishula. Trishula activates and can remove one card out of the graveyard, one card of the field, and one card out of the hand. So he gets rid of anti-spell fragrance, uh, breakthrough skill, and some monster out of the hand. He attacks with all of these monsters, lots of damage for a long now, and I think he already knows that this will go to game 3. I would say Long Dao locked himself a little bit with uh, his set El Shadal Fusion and his own anti spell fragrance. Yep, that's the El Shadal Fusion we knew. So Long Dao is left with just one set card and his draw for the turn. He sets it. If this is a Falco, he has some chance to get back into the game. Alpha, on the other hand, pretty confident. In it is a headshot, so Long searches his deck for El Shadal Fusion. Long Dao is 600 life points, so I don't know, this is search did that just a waste of time. Uh, he will, okay, Dark Hole, not too bad. Yep, but still with the El Shadal Fusion, there's not much he can do with just one monster so I think Alpai should be able to finish that off Alpai searches for another probably what is it? yeah there is his cycle yep there is the cycle and it depends in what uh, Long Dao drew into but if Alpai manages to put two monsters on the board this should almost pretty much be game so Yep. <laughs> Amnesty a mistake. Registration for side event is gonna stop. And it's want to ten minutes left in the round, so if Alpa manages to you finish this soon, there will be about eight now minutes left in the round when they start game three. And this is gonna be interesting then because there's no draws then. And um, one of them has to win. Then. Yep, there's Cowboy and this is game 3 like I told you. So we have 10 minutes left in the round for game 3.
So we are back to um, game three in uh, round seven on the major tours of Bologna from Complex Card Gaming. And it's still upper end game against Long Dao. Uh, the score is 1 1, and this is game three. Upper opening with uh, preparation of rights. A card which got limited to one, but it's on Alpha's opening hand again. There's a clauseless, there's a kaleidoscope. Uh, Alpha searches for Really strong opening by Alpa Engen with the cycle plus the short plus uh, a Valkyries from hand. He gets the search with the Shurid and if he would play the Archmage that would be a really really strong opening. But he's not playing that. So um, I think probably he searched for Brianic. So we know that Alpa has two cards in hand. It's, uh, one of them is Brianic and he has the Valkyries and the Unicorn on the field. With about six minutes left in the round, they have plenty of time for at least three or four more turns. Alpai has Dance Princess already, so left with Brynik on the hand, like in the hand, he goes for uh, an Emerald to get another card. Yeah, again, guys, good morning. It's 9.35 here in um, Bologna, Italy. And we are currently in the seventh round. There's one more round today until the cut to top 16. Alpai draws a card with Emerald. He draws two more with uh, Valkyries. So we just know that Alpai has the Brianic in hand. That's what he searched for. And a Valkyrus. So we know um, Valkyrus and the Brynek. Two unknown cards. And he's probably searching for two, uh, I would say, Mirrors. And yes. K J. HD33, he's right, there is still no Senju or Manju for Alpay in this game. So this is gonna be a cycle and a kaleidoscope. So Alpay's hand contains a kaleidoscope, a cycle, a Brynek and a Vakura. So we know four out of six cards in his hand. And it's still his first turn. Alpay sets two. He's probably scared of uh, anti-spell fragrance. And on the other hand, it is a really good read then. Long Dao starts his um, game 3 off with uh, Shadow of Fusion with Hash Hodge and Falco going for Winder. He summons Falco back and he will get a monster to his hand. And there's a Squamana. Yep, a summon Squamana, and the Winder is going for the first damage. Nope. 
Valkyria says no. Op activate Valkyria's, removes Clausulas. Valkyria's went to the grave. And um, he's asking for a response in uh, draw phase or standby phase. <coughs> but there is none. And there's there are three minutes left in the round. Three minutes. And uh, as you can see, Long Dao is leading with life points. But the, is, is that true that he already lost 1800 damage? There is Agile Fusion. And he should all fusions into another window. And whoop. He pops cycle and activates anti spell fragrance. Very good play by uh Long Dao. Wrong play by Long Dao, and the anti spagrance act is active again. So even uh, with his four card in hand, Arpai can't do that much because he needs to set all of these spell traps before. On the other hand, um, Winda shuts him down, so he can just uh, special summon once. So there's nothing like Excision Knight or anything to pop because if he special summons something like Unicorn there's n no way he can special summon again so he needs to uh, attack over uh, Winda but we don't know what oh there's the first Stratos and there is the Breakthrough Skull so there's the Brianic we know there's Unicorn and he has the Kaleido very, very well played by Alpine. And it was a really good read, like I told you, he set it both of his mirrors because he knew that Long Da could open with anti spare fragrance again. Very well played by uh, Alpine. And uh, this looks pretty good. For the people who missed it, um, Long hits uh, the cycle with. Uh, the Shadol Dragon and misses the Kaleidoscope so that leaves uh, Alpai with the Kaleidoscope play because he set it Kaleidoscope in his first turn because he knew that uh, any spray fragrance could be a deal and we are in the timeout right now so um, a few more turns but I think Alpai Engen should mm, manage to win this game soon so please attack over uh, winter and then we'll probably see Trishula coming down yep Diamond Direwolf pops the anti spell fragrance. He will search for another mirror, probably Necros mirror. And then he will trish Long Dao, and he's left with nothing. Because Long Dao has one card in hand, one set of Falco. And if the card in hand is not a Veiler. Yep, always in hand. El Shadal Fusion is removed. So Long Dao is left with one card in his hand. He draws into a second card. On the other hand, Alpha Engen has a Trishula with a set card and now three cards in his hand. He looks with Graveyard and this looks pretty. Oh god, he drews into another Manju. Yep. 
that's all Long can do. He scoops and uh, congratulations to Alba Engen who managed to win round seven and he's still X1. So one more round for today and then the cut to top 16. Thank you for watching guys. Um, congratulations to Alpa Engine. Alpa, the running engine engine. And the engine keeps running. See you later guys.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Cause you're 
Welcome back to the last round for today in with this is round 8 at the TCG Major to stop in Bologna and this is Michel Wiener coming Last round for today BA against Stellanet this is a 4 against a 6 so Giorgio playing burning out of he will be able to decide who is going first Uh, the round already started, the players are still shuffling. And uh, thanks again, people in the chat pass, just like, thanks again, you saved my day again. Not only about um, <laughs> um, activating the, the microphone in uh, round 7. He already told me to turn the music off in round 8, so he's forming a pyramid, Giorgio, and we'll see who's going first. Yep, Burning Abyss will start. There's a special sum, there's a normal sum in Gruff, there's an overlay. And we all know what's coming next. There he is, Dante. Yep, Dante in defense position. Activate his effect to just mill. Th oh, he is, uh, he's milling three. He mills the tour guard. He activates Graf. Graf lets him special someone burning up his out of his uh, out of the stack. Probably a seer. Yep, there he is, the steer hits the field in defense position. Austin vs. Jure, my man of the day. We have some <laughs> some more commentary than um, <laughs> commentary is <here> nice. <laughs> commentary like such a nice word. Um, yeah, but there's the sir and two set cards. Strong opening by uh, Giorgio. 
Ilari on the other side is playing Stellar Knight. He activates a random MST. The random MST on the Mind Crush. There's no response because um, Giorgio. Oh wow. He MSTs the Mind Crush and then activates reinforcement of the army. Very good play by uh, Ilario. And is it a Danabara Vega? Oh my god. If I'm seeing right, this is a hand without any spells. Oh. Is it, a, it is another Mind Crush. Georgia really started off with two Mind Crush and the Veiler. Very strong opening by Georgia. Yeah. So Altair gets Veilered. Um, he Mind Crushed before. Strong opening. But that's I think I saw a call. So uh, Georgia down to one card in his hand with the Seer and Dante on the field. Um, Ilario on the other side with Altair and two set card. One of them is definitely Call of the Haunted. So Dante activates its effect. There's Libic. Mills 3. There's a Skarm, there's a Seer. Very good mill by uh, Giorgio. Yep. The Gruff out of the graveyard. Summoned by Seer. We are uh, some more of you right now. We are on 65 right now. So good morning again. It's 10:15 here in Italy, Bologna, and we are currently in the last round for Swiss today. Until we go to the top cut, people like Piran they already dropped out, or Marvin Weber they will go for the side event. But there are still some players left, like Alpa Engine, Sasha Fabian, who are fighting for tops. <laughs> There's another Dante overlaid uh, with the uh, Seer and Graf. So if we have a quick look at the body language again, um, I would bet my money on Giorgio because Giorgio is looking very confident. And um, Ilari on the other side. <laughs> is in some kind of I would say nervous situation. He, if you if you can see that he was just uh, playing around with the dice. He looks to uh, the graveyard of uh, Giorgio, and his face is not happy. He's looking sad. Wow. 2.15 a.m. and they are, you're still here, you're my hero man. You're my hero if you're sorry, if you just have a look at our stream at 2 a.m. in the morning. This is good. On the other side, <laughs> Sydney, yeah, 6, 6 p.m. should be a good time to watch some Yu-Gi-Oh. There's George just summoning. Um, is it... I can't see, is it a far far? So Dante on 2500, Dante on uh, 2500 and a Farfa. Yep, Farfa attacks into Altair, removes Altair. Uh, both Dantes are probably going through.
and both Dantes get overlaid uh, with uh, Donner Magician. And he's searching it. I think it's a Gruff. Yeah, there's Vega, there's Unokai. The Denim goes into the grave. And that's a very good board for Larry then. He has lots of options to uh, go for right now. And there is the emptiness. Emptiness with. Uh, back up both of the Donner's Magicians and as you can see Ilarius turning all those monsters into defense position that's not good for him there's no way he can get uh, over Donner's Magician right now George on the other hand he draws into something and I told you it's all about the body language you just look at the player and you know if they're really strong or if they're really weak and George is indeed the stronger confident more confident person uh, there's a nova face down Ilaria on 1700 life points, 1300 life points, it's pretty tough then. <laughs> um, and we have a question at the feature match table, but we have a judge to solve the situation. Um, I think he has a face down Nova and he wants to ask if he can activate it or not. They can activate Nova. So, uh, Downer Magician is getting destroyed along with the Vanity's Emptiness. And that is definitely good for Alario because he can draw into something to uh, go for some good moves. On the other side, Giorgio, he goes for uh, Search Seer. And he should probably have at least two cards in his hand. Hilario down to 1500 life points. With this Unulkai destroyed, Donut Magician's effect activates. Dante is going to the graveyard. And uh, I think he wanted to go for the Dragon Slayer, but it's Drown Slayer. And yep, uh, Mirafold with uh, not so confident language, uh, body language, can uh, turn games around because people don't expect that. And if you're sitting in your chair, and you're very sad, and then he activates, uh, like he is attacking with two or three monsters into Mirafold, you can just get your smile back, and you can turn around games. So. Uh, there is a Danap. This is the Thrados for everyone who doesn't know Danap. Danap can search for another Stellar Knight. And that's what Ilaria does. It could be an Altair. I 
can't see it completely, but it should be an Altair. There's another set card, and um, he's probably not attacking into the face down monster. Yep, he isn't. So it's George's turn. George just summons Seer along with uh, Donald Magician. So um, Seer destroys himself, getting big Dante. Um, attacking with Donald Magician. Hilarious on 800 time left. 800 left plus left. Uh, attack with Dante for game. Nope. There is another call on. On Vega and Vega lets him special summon the Altair from his hand if possible. Another Donald Magician, okay. Two hundred life points on Hilarious side. And um, just to let you know, Hilarious one of two Stellar Knights who are left with the chances on top sixteen. So if Valeria loses this game, there's just one Cell Knight who can manage to go to top 16. And there, like Dems 21 said, it's time to shine. Crash card virus. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hilaria, you know, do the 200 life points. There's nothing much you can do. Um, scoop, scoop, scoop. Game 2. I don't have the deck list here, but Giorgio manages to win game one against Stellar Knight or Stellar Knight from Ilario, and he's looking confident for a game two. It's just one more win until his appearance in top 16 with Burning Abyss. They are still siding. And it's 20 minutes left in the round, so we are at half time of the round. Just finished game one. And um, if anyone wants to know how the others do, other good players like uh, Barberi, Longdao, Alpha Engine, Sasha Fabian, you can just ask and I will try to tell you if the players are nearby.
just to let you know, this is the last round for today. There will be a cut to top 16 after this round 8 at Tour Stop Bologna. So, Giorgio is very confident for the top 60 with his burning abyss if uh, he managed to win game 2. Larry on the other side, he is uh, fighting for his spot in the top 16. Um, one of them will have the chance to compete in the top 16 for the flight to the unofficial world championship in the US and um, the, other, the other one has the chance to uh, attempt the side event and the side event will be constructed and they have the chance to win the flight to the next major tour stop of complexity card gaming. So um, he's going for another pie shuffle. Hopefully he's doing that quick. There are just about 18 minutes left in the round. I don't know if you saw the pairings. Um, an interesting match uh, is happening right now. It's Alpi Engine, Alpi the Running Motor Engine Engine, um, <laughs> against Federico Sopini, both with 18 points on table two, and Sasha Fabian on table six against uh, Burning Abyss player Stefano Lenti. Um, we saw him before in a feature match. He's playing Gianluca Leone as well, a guy. We saw the feature match before. Robin Bachofer, he's playing against Luca Moroni on tape 13. They are both um, playing for the tops. Both with 15 points. Long down on table 8 is uh, playing Alex Oliana. <laughs> and Luigi Alici on table 3, he is playing. Um, Alberto Conti, which we all also saw in the feature match before, um, he's playing Clifford and he's still with 18 points, so he's still X1. But we're right now back into uh, game two. S things are starting off with Rhoda, Rhoda for Danip, for a set, that's what Stella Knight does. Having the Stratos plus some back rows. Um, we'll see the turn for Giorgio. Giorgio normally some smell magicians. There is the Finnish chain. So no effect today for uh, Mathematician. Then uh, Ilario says uh, thank you for a thousand life points for free. Um, the trade uh, for a card, Absolute Goblin. And we'll see some set cards. Um, yep, three set cards by Giorgio. <laughs> so it's some kind of uh, if we're looking at the body language again, Ilario, even if he has the finish chain with the three sets <coughs> aside with Danab, he's not looking that confident. And there is a Booger Moon on Danab. Yep, and there is a summon. Denep for the second time, Ali. <laughs> he books his own Denep. What do you think about that move? Going for Unokai? I don't like Unokai. I really don't like him. I really don't like him. But yeah, going for. But this, look, look, Ali. I told the you. The situation was what? He summoned uh, Denep. He summoned Denep before, and now he uh, booked it to get another search. Yeah, it's good. Why not? And. There's the call Ooh. for Denim again. Maxi is on uh, Call of the Haunted. That Maxi was pretty good, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, I just see like the trivias coming and bouncing everything back to the field. Uh, back to the end, sorry. You're thinking about Triva, right? 
Yeah, sure. And that call, and that finish chain back to the end is good. That call, that finish chain, going back to hand, yeah. and there, <laughs> there, there he is. is. So, <laughs> driver, it's the field. I didn't expect that. Sorry. <laughs> so but there's good. breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill on Trivor. Sixteen minutes left. Thanks to the head judge, we know there are 16 minutes left in the round. There is a Phoenix wing, wing plus. And this should, yep, this is definitely a scar, and he searches a tour guide in the end phase. Yep. Okay, they're asking for a judge. I don't know what really happens. So if you see any reason for a confusion, please let me know in the chat, because I don't see any. Just check for you what's going on.
So hopefully the problem is solved and we can continue with Yu-Gi-Oh because that's why you and me we are here for seeing some Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, there is um a finished chain. There's an overlay. There's a Alucard Ghost Trick. Uh, on call chain. Ah, okay. He said he used that twice, but then was the lost. Yep, correct. Thanks, Vasoleros, uh, and uh, thanks, Fixie and Lost Atlantis. Back to the body language, uh, Ilario is looking desperate and George on the other side very confident. So, um, if it's right that George is still has three cards, oh, there's the mind crush on a chair. Thanks to the guys in the chat who are here and watch the game and saw that there was an incident with Danep and that's why they called uh, the judge but solved the problem um, and I think it doesn't really matter because Ilari is in a very very bad position right now uh, with two face up finish chain, two face up call the haunted um, a giant true nade would be right, uh, right, would be good right now giant true nade uh, getting back all these cards unfortunately giant uh, there is uh, no giant trinade. Yep, Dante. Milling 3, Crush card, Mine Crush, and a Seer. Seer activates on Skarm. Skarm hits the field, is destroyed because there is a non burning Abyss on the field with Ghost Trick Alucard. Um, but he will get another search. And um, <laughs> Ilario is down to, we'll see at least, should be 4,000 life points. Scrum activates in the end phase, Georgia is searching for another card. And um, it's not nice to see Ilario's reaction right now. He's really, really sad. He was so close to top 16. And now his dreams shattered so no top 16 for Ilario that's how it looks like and um, I just can say welcome to Giorgio for uh, top 16 yep he has the MST and uh, he will just go yep mill 3 come on yep do it two breakthrough skill really really useful and attack for a game come on attack for a game please we need some more damage. Um, Shnogi, i just tell you, this is the last round for today in Swiss and the last round in total. This is round 8. And um, we will have a top 16 cut after that. <coughs> yeah, everything is today. Um, so we, we will have top 16 right after that. Top 16, top 8, top 4. And then going for the grand final. And uh, then we'll know who is going to the unofficial world championship uh, in the US. <laughs> there is there is a maxi you see right there is a maxi on the field attacking maxi dante and um goes through all the card and another set card so ilario draws and is he scooping yep there's Maxi, there's the Handshake. Welcome to Top 16, George Alaska with your burning up a stack. Finishing things off with Maxi. <laughs> so, tops for George Alaska. He's very happy. His friends all around are there. <laughs> He's really, really happy. Top 60 for him. And um, this is the first burning up for Top 16. All the other players are still playing. I see Alpine engine, the running engine engine, uh, still playing against uh, Federico Sopini. 
I still see Stefan Letty playing, I still see uh, the Ritual Beast guy playing, I still see uh, Sasha Fabio playing. So um, oh, I think with only a few minutes left in the round, they are all fighting for a spot in the top 16. And um, you see the players are shuffling up. And I will be back in a few seconds to tell you about all the results of the other players. And if you have any questions about decks played, uh, perhaps your favorite player about his uh, standings, just ask in the chat and I will I will answer your questions. And thanks for that, we know there's six minutes left in the round, six minutes left in the round and then we directly go on with the top 16. So see you guys in a few minutes.